In just a few moments, each of you will accept a diploma, signifying your graduation from one of the most prestigious law schools in the United States of America. It's your chance to help realize your vision of a better world. It's your obligation to move our nation confidently into the future, no matter what that future might bring. And it's your solemn responsibility and your humbling opportunity to act with optimism, with fidelity to our most treasured principles, and with abiding faith in yourselves and with one another. Not merely to serve clients or to win cases, but to ensure in every case, in every community, and in every circumstance that justice is done. In the aftermath of 9-11, as our nation struggled to cope with an unprecedented tragedy and to respond to a new kind of stateless threat, fear and uncertainty drove us, in certain cases, to abandon our values in pursuit of information about those who would do us harm. We used, we used techniques that were of questionable effectiveness, but were certainly inconsistent with who we say we are as a people. And, and in bringing suspected terrorists to justice, some question and some continue to question the capacity and the effectiveness of our federal civilian court system. Let me be very clear. Those who claim that our federal courts are incapable of handling terrorism cases are not registering a dissenting opinion. They are simply wrong. Their assertions, their assertions ignore reality and attempting to limit the use of these courts would weaken our ability to incapacitate and to punish those who, are, those who target our people and attempt to terrorize our communities. Throughout history, our federal courts have proven to be an unparalleled instrument for bringing terrorists to justice. They have enabled us to convict scores of people with, of terrorism-related offenses since September the 11th. Hundreds are properly, safely, secured, held in our federal prisons and not in Guantanamo today. Not one, not one has ever escaped custody. No judicial district has ever suffered a retaliatory attack of any kind. And no other tool has demonstrated such a robust ability to stop terrorists and to collect intelligence over a diverse range of circumstances. I defy anyone on the merits to challenge these assertions. Our heritage and our legacy to future generations clearly demand that we maintain full faith and confidence in a court system that has distinguished this nation for more than two centuries. We must never cede our freedoms or curtail our dearest liberties, nor feel that there is a tension between them and our ability to keep safe. We are counting on this class of 2013 to make more fair and more just a world that now looks to you for the leadership that you are uniquely qualified to share. Congratulations and Godspeed.